Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove it. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, get me an opportunity. She gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure. She has been confident. And that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the queen. So here's the longtime UFC veteran, Chinese star Yan Xiaonan. And it's interesting to hear her talk about walking into that UFC PI in Shanghai because there is so much love in her nation for Zhang Wei Li that Yan Xiaonan is okay accepting the heel role. She is okay being on the other side of that equation as long as she gets the title fight. And her body of work suggests to you that she is already deserving. Back-to-back -back wins over Mackenzie Dern and Jessica Andrade have entrenched her in the top five. And many believe, pound for pound, skill for skill, already, Yan Xiaonan is one of the very best straw weights in the world. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Luana Vignano. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Champion of the world, Yon And there's Herb Dean, who will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, here we go. UFC Women's Bantamweight title is on the line. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice straight right lance. Right to the single collar. She was able to close the distance, and now she's in her position. Good straight hand there by Xiao Na. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Her opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that when she is this. Free-flowing it is very difficult to deal with. Hook to the headlands, flush there by Luana Pinheiro. It got checked. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Oh, how good was that judo toss? Looking to establish the jab here, nicely done by Jan Schaunau. And 
she's back in the clinch. Come on, girl, fight hard. I want you to get Now we get some space as she separates from her opponent. Well, she's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see why. You see all she learned from her background in boxing that allows her to be so effective defensively. She defended the takedown beautifully and scrambles back to her feet. An outstanding kick there by Yan Xiaonan. Oh, nice takedown defense. Switch, he lands to the bottom. Trying to establish that jab once again. Focus there again. We march on three minutes to go. Ooh, big shot lands. Panero's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Oh, big elbow. Nice short uppercut in the clinch by Yan Xiaona. She's got kicks. Guillotine yeah, jump. All right, so she bails on the submission, favoring the position. Your thoughts on that? John, she had it pretty tight. But she recognized she was going to lose it. So she kept the dominant position. I think that was very smart of her. All right, right back to the well she goes. Another submission attempt here. She keeps trying to get the sub going. Oh, she might have this here. That's tight. Oh, somehow she gets out. It was locked in. She somehow survived. Well, she continues to try to set up submissions here, but there it is, gets denied again. Once again, the submission is denied. This is just great submission defense. I mean, she's so locked in, she doesn't give you any chance. It'll be very hard to get her out of here with a submission. Oh, man, another ground strike gets through. It's going to be Motrin in the morning. The swell is starting to appear. Oh, beautiful reversal on the ground, and now she's got the dominant position. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. On, getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Well, no surprise here. She backs off and welcomes her opponent back to the feet. You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Defense holds there. She blocks that shot. Oh! All right, so she lands yet another leg kick there. She's landed several in the round, and now you see the damage. It's obvious on the other side. I mean, look at the red in the leg, the bruising, the welts on the leg. Nasty. From those leg kicks, it's unbelievable. Oh, judo toss. Made it look easy. Right on the button. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Nicely done as she closes the distance to attain the single collar top. Oh, huge shot by her there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in the weight class. She lands, and she lands very effectively. She gets to the single collar top. Look for her now to drive uppercuts up the middle to do damage on our opponent. Right back on the clinch. Look for the backhand to get Jerry out. She's got her in a lot of trouble. Oh, and mercifully, there's the horn. Plenty of action to digest in that round. And it could very well be anyone's fight here. Relax. Take a drink of water. And listen, I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yes, yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. She works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Oh! Big right hand there. Well, 
it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the cure shot. Oh, my goodness. Back and forth we go. Massive shots being landed on both sides. Oh, nice right hand. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. Back and forth we go. Kick is good by Shauna. Well, DC, I know you're high on this fighter, but she is fading fast. She got stunned earlier in the round and physically just hasn't responded well since. She has not responded to adversity. You have to understand, as a fighter, everything will not go according to plan. She has not done well in building back to where she was before she got hurt so bad early in the round. She lands that beautiful jab. She got that single collar tie. Nice job by her there to block those shots. When you first go to a boxing class, the first thing they say is glue your guard to your face. Her guard's high tonight. Her guard's high and she keeps the elbow down. She does a great job of blocking up top and down low. Posturing up now. Oh, and she lands a huge strike to the head. Arrows looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Oh, nice. Pinero's looking for a Dosh choke here. She's got the Dosh choke locked in. Oh, so now she gives up on the submission. She did, and she did because she saw that she was going to end up in a worse position. Great recognition to give up the submission and maintain her dominant position. Shout on getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Nice ground strikes landed by her from top position now. Well, she's staying busy, continuing to land ground strikes. There's another one. Panero ground and pound from half guard now. All right, right into side control now. We'll see if she can dole out some damage. A lot of fighters would prefer the half guard. She does pretty good work here. She does great work in the half guard. She's very brutal. She's very heavy with her top half. So she doesn't worry about the opponent escaping. And this side control is very good for her because she wants to wear on you. She wants you to try to carry all of her weight with your upper body and make a mistake that will lead to a fight ending finish for her. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Great shot from the top position. Well, we're becoming a broken record. Another ground strike landed by her there. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. She's moving her head pretty good on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these shots. DC, I know you've got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back as not your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Good work from the top here by Pinheiro. Great defense to stay safe. She has no answer, so continue to feed her the question. Right hand after right hand from the top position. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble. scramble. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Going. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. to see another round. So back to the stool. She only has 60 seconds here to recover. We'll see if her corner physically and mentally can keep her in this fight. What a seminal moment there at the end of the round. All right, so we will see another round here. Sat her opponent down there in that previous round with a punch. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, we are going forward because I thought it was over. I saw that punch land. We started to yell. We started to scream. We 
thought the fight was done, but we move forward because her opponent is so tough, but she's so skilled that she can't get there again. Shot to the body connects for her there. Someone said, what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find her space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. Panero's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. And she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a fit. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valuable. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. All right, nice job by her to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. She is taking no damage because she's so on point defensively. Lead kick landed there by Pinero. Great job getting to her position. Right into that single collar. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, huge knee to the body. That'll soften her up. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. He's had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, nice knee. Nice level change. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Yan Xiaonan. Well, confidence has never been an issue for her, but I'm not sure she's ever been this confident after getting that huge knockdown in the previous Well, season. she should be confident. She was landing everything, and then she finally got that knockdown to end the beginning of the earlier round. Oh, big knee. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now, but if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a Oh! John, she's hurt. She's done. It, it looks like it's over. Big right hand. Ah, uh, she's unable to connect with the left hook. All right, so no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is going to get wider with every passing moment of the fight. You know, generally you expect it to get worse. When you're fighting someone like her, you know it's going to get worse because she's as sharp and as crisp as any striker you ever step in the octagon with. So she's going to be on that cut and attacking that cut relentlessly. Nice job by her there. The bottom fighter continuing to slip these ground and pound offerings. And with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Big elbow there, Lance. Pinero's trying for a submission here. Oh, now it's getting tight. Great decision there. Maintain position over submission. Very, very smart. Oh, she's got her back. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish. Here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot at the top. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, wow, she's got the arm triangle tight. She's got it in tight. Oh, how about that? She gives up on the submission now. Panero's back in side control. Oh. That's three rounds. 
Stop. We're now headed to the championship Stop. round. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, so she does survive to see the next round, but as we show you some replays, DC, nobody's going to be kissing her on the cheek anytime soon. <laughs> no, it's a nasty cut on the cheek. She got hit with some big shots, and they really have taken an effect on her. Look at the cut on the cheek, and it was that shot right there that opened up the cut. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five minute rounds. All right, here we go. I'm excited, man. Fourth round is underway as we hit these championship rounds. Both of these women with a lot still left in the tank, or so it seems. They did a great job of preparing themselves for the long fight. Let's see who can sustain the energy. Strike of the fight. Her best strike. You don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, she's in a world of trouble now. right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. She got that single collar tie. Got to the clinch. Oh, you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Beautiful level change. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Oh, nice. Nice. Just misses there with the left. Well, I hope the judges recognize that she's blocking the majority of these shots. She's doing a beautiful job, I think, defensively. She's doing a great job defensively. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you, are, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage get between rounds, and then try to reset, because right now, this cut is only getting worse. Nice defense. Big knee lands to the body. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. All right, so there it is again. Her striking has been on point really from the outset, and now some definite strike. strike by her there. I do not doubt her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent's finish. Under two minutes now to go. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown do? Trouble here. Oh, no. Well, she's able to get back up here, but man, look how wobbly she is. Wow. Strong outside leg kick. What a fight. All right, so now as the cut continues to get worse, it appears as though it's starting to affect her a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to affect her. You can see it. She, she's reaching for it. She's pawing at it. She's trying to understand where the blood is coming from. She has got to stay locked in if she wants to win this fight. So she's holding on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. There it is. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. 
Well, we wondered aloud earlier. She's in a lot of trouble, John. She's going to have to be so smart to reach the final bell. Oh, big, big shots here. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strike. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control, an underhook, and get back to your feet. Oh, four oh. sounds for the end of round four. All right, so somehow, some way, we have made it to the end of the round. And for these two women, otherworldly toughness on both sides, but those are some damaging cuts. Yeah, they're both cut up. They're both battered. They're both bruised. They have done so much damage to each other. Both of these women laid it all on the line. We're going to show you some replays from that previous round and perhaps isolate the cut that, the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, I mean, these two just were going back and forth. They are so evenly matched and the intensity in which they threw their strikes was crazy. Both of these ladies were trying to knock their opponent's head off the entire time in that round. All right, so let's see how soon into this next round those cuts are reopened, but both of these women have accomplished a lot here tonight offensively. We'll see who can shore things up defensively moving forward. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Arrow gets hit by that leg kick, so maybe that one gets her attention. Just out of range with that left hook. She's got the single collar tie. Ooh, nice uppercut from the champ. Well, this is just getting ridiculous now. Both women are really leaking in the face area. If Joe Rogan was here, he would say she looks like a stuck pig. Yeah, he definitely would. Guys, the cut man's done a great job tonight. They're doing a good job of trying or allowing these two women to continue. But they... Oh! Back to the feet now. Big knee! Oh, look at that. Caution. Flammable. Damage critical. These women have a Pulled out and absorbed a ton of damage here tonight. Fans enjoying every goddamn second. Enjoying the entire thing. What's most impressive is that neither are willing to take a step back. These women seem to have made a deal in the back that, hey, we're going to fight to the end. That's exactly what we are witnessing. Yan Shaunan's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. This has been a fight that has had it all, and we are going down the stretch, my friend. Down to the wire. You would not have wanted anything more as a fan. This has been a great fight, a great story from the very moment the official said fight. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Panero's eye is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position, but that condition is only going to get worse as this fight continues. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. All right, I'm going to put you in this fighter's shoes. She's clearly losing this fight. Time is not her friend right now. Are you going for the finish or what? I am biting down on the mouthpiece, and I am swinging from the hip. Something has to land so that she can win this fight. But Arrow's in half guard. All right, she's in the full guard here, DC. She's going to be looking to pass, try to get to the next position. Beautiful transition. She's targeting that cut and doing a great job of getting to it with those nasty ground and pound strikes. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Luana Pinheiro. And there it is again. Her opponent has not had anything resembling an answer for these ground strikes. Pinheiro's right back to the full mount. Oh. In the half guard. Working from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Pinheiro. 
most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. That submission looks tight. This has got to be the end. And somehow, some way she gets up. What a beautiful job pushing the leg over your head, freeing your head, defending the on bar submission. Beautiful. Unbelievable. Shannon's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Pinheiro. Nice defense. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Jan Shannon's in half guard now. All right, into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing, right away passing. Trying to pass and get good ground and pound out. All right, so the referee may be closing his distance a little bit. She has absorbed so many headshots. I don't think he wants her to take too much more damage upstairs. And doesn't want to see her go flat out. I mean, you can stop this fight and save her from getting put out completely. She is not going to change this fight. She has been beat up from start to finish. The better fighter will get their hand raised. It's time for someone to take a look and save her from herself. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighters. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Luana Pinheiro. Well, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. All right, so we're going to look back at some highlights as we await the judges' scorecards. And I find it hard to believe they're going to be in agreement here tonight. Challenger and Champion both had their moments. Oh, you're going to be looking at a pretty close decision. I don't know what those three judges' scorecards will say. If I have to guess, I would guess that the champ did just enough to retain her title. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner, by split decision, and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. Well, not unlike the great Israel Adesanya, she doesn't hope and pray. She aims and fires, and she is still the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champ. What a great champion that rules atop this division. She's the queen, the queen of the world in one of the UFC's best women's divisions.